Welcome guys to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, kindly do so and remember to click the notification button to get more amazing content. And with that, let's go straight to the video. Qualcomm manufactures chips for almost every phone that supports Android, but News Justin suggests that the company is moving away from this norm. With Asus' help, Qualcomm has announced its first smartphone, and it will be officially called the phone for Snapdragon Insiders. Starting off at $1,500, Qualcomm's first phone is less of a Samsung or iPhone rival, but more of a way for Qualcomm to show off their tech to their social media audiences. Following Qualcomm's recent announcement of an upcoming laptop chip that is designed to rival Apple's M1 and upcoming M2 chips, and their admission to lack of a branding presence in among consumers, this move seems to be more of a campaign designed to set the stage for their up-and-coming products in 2022 and a way to gain better brand awareness among consumers. Looking at the features, the smartphone for Snapdragon Insiders will have a Snapdragon 888 processor which combines with a 2448 x 1086.78 inch AMOLED screen that boasts up to 144Hz refresh rate, 16GB of RAM, 512GB storage 24MP selfie camera at the front, 12MP ultra-wide angle camera, 64MP main camera and 8MP telephoto camera at the back with optical zoom. The smartphone also has Wi-Fi 6 and 6E along with 5G compatibility. On the flip side, the smartphone for Snapdragon Insiders does not have support for wireless charging but you get second-generation 3D sonic sensor for fingerprint security access on the back of the phone. The phone also includes a braided USB-C cable, a custom rubber bumper and some special edition wireless pair of earbuds from Master Dynamic MW08SI that retails at $300. Qualcomm continues in its efforts to grow its audience of mobile chips in a bid to mirror what NVIDIA, Intel and AMD are doing. Thank you once again for watching the video. I hope it was informative. Kindly like, subscribe and click the notification button.